Hi everyone, it's Shaggy coming back with another video and for today's video I'm gonna introduce you this mini sewing machine um, and I'm just gonna introduce you like the basic functions of this and like the durability test as well so this is the cheapest uh, pedal sewing machine you will ever find on the market so this is really small it actually has like all of the things that you will need in a, uh, to get started with sewing so for those new to my channel, I do trip flips and DIYs at least once a week. But I got really busy right now because I went back to school. But I'll try my best to upload at least once a week. And also, I recently got my thousand subscribers. So thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> So when you buy this, you will have, of course, the machine and the plug, the pedal, and some accessories. By this, it will come pre-threaded already, so it will be easy for you to understand how to thread this machine. So on the side of the sewing machine, you will have these two holes where you can uh, plug in the pedal and also the plug. So there's two ways how to run this machine. You can just press the on and off button on the right side or you can use the pedal. So the button on the middle of the sewing machine is a button to control the speed so you can make it slower or faster. So for the thread, you can use a thread that's on a bobbin or you can use a spool of thread. So to thread the sewing machine, you have to insert this on the first hole and then insert it in between these two metals then on another hole then insert it on the thread take up and another hole and then into the needle to thread the bobbin there is a little knob on the hand wheel so you just lightly press it and then twist it and that small knob will pop out so to thread it insert the end of the thread to one of the holes in the bobbin and just hold that with your right hand then insert the bobbin to the small knob you will need both of your hands on threading this so you hold the thread with your left hand and hold the bobbin with your right hand so it will not pop out you will need to move your hand left and right so the thread will be evenly distributed to the bobbin i will not finish threading this but you get the idea how to thread this so when you put the bobbin make sure the end of the thread is on the right side Then just twist the hand wheel until you get the lower thread on top of the feed dogs. So on the back of sewing machine, there is a presser foot lifter. So this will allow you to insert the fabric easier. So the stitch is like this, so it's just a pretty basic straight stitch. So I'm gonna put this on a denim test as well, so that's two layers, three, four, five, and six layers of denim. So I'm actually surprised it's actually stitched all the layers so you can see everything is stitched together. So I will try more layers, that's 7 and that's 8. So 
so with eight layers of denim I also didn't have any problem stitching it so you can see everything is also attached so I think I'm gonna try 12 layers of denim so unfortunately that didn't fit So I narrowed it down to 10 layers and still it didn't fit so I think it can only you can only attach until like eight layers of denim so again this is the eight layers of denim and I don't have any problem stitching onto it again thank you for watching and if you do like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you Also, if you do have any questions about these machines, just leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll comment back as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye-bye.